Kirk here. I know there was some confusion about my name and all, so I just wanted to make sure I put it here so that you didn't forget it. Welcome to the last lesson in harnessing human energy. Today, you're going to decide what the best solution for the rescue team is and write a convincing scientific argument about that. Let's get started. So for the warm up today, we have um, one of the rescue workers that has this flashlight. You may have seen flashlights like this before where the, the a human can crank it and light gets generated. Because the rescue worker never has to replace the ba batteries in this or plug in the flashlight, she thinks that it doesn't need an energy source. So the question is, do you agree or disagree? And then how can you convince your colleague to the truth? All right, so this should take you four or five minutes. Remember, we're always using complete sentences. For our second activity, we're gonna to try to use some word relationships in order to get us ready to write a compelling, convincing scientific argument. So our chapter two question is, how can the rescue workers get energy to the batteries and their equipment during the rescue mission? Okay, this is a problem. So what you'll see in activity two is word relationships. We have a word bank and we are gonna connect um, some of these words together in order to later piece those into sentences and then have a compelling argument. The purpose of this is to help us get used to using scientific language to explain what we've been learning. Uh, it's also gonna help you prepare your scientific explanation for this unit. So we've got these words, which are all words we've talked about, and they're all vocabulary words that are in the Amplify glossary. But I'll just take two um, and kind of set an example here. I'll, I'll take energy and transfer. And the idea is to create a sentence, at least a fragment of a sentence for everything. So I might put together, the rescue workers can use a human powered generator to transfer energy to the batteries in their flashlights, right? We know that the word transfer means to move from one location to another. So I'm gonna move energy uh, to the batteries from some sort of hand crank, some sort of human powered generator. Um, I also might use the word convert, that I'll convert the energy because remember we talked uh, using a hand power, a human power generator, that's kinetic energy and we would be converting that into potential energy. So there's another example of how I could take that same concept. The goal is to take about five to seven minutes and come up with as many sentences as you can. The more sentences you come up with, the easier it's going to be to put your uh, scientific argument together. So, you know, if we're in class, we're going to partner up. If we're not in class, um, you're going to on your own use the cards that help answer the chapter two question. And um, just a reminder, that chapter two question, how can the rescue workers get energy to the batteries in their equipment during the rescue mission? So uh, at least two words in each sentence. You don't have to use all the words, but remember the more sentences you have, the more words you use, the easier it's gonna be down the line. So the, the, more, the harder you work here, the more it's gonna pay off when we get to our uh, scientific argument. So we'll take a few minutes. Um, this should, again, take you five to seven minutes to, uh, to put these together. And that leads us then to activity three, which is the actual writing of a scientific argument. So the lead energy scientist wants us to write an argument about what the best energy source is for the rescue team, all right? This is the message that we get. Dear student energy scientists, the rescue teams needs to be sure they do not run out of energy in emergency situations. They're choosing between these two energy sources for the batteries and their equipment, the sun or solar cells, 
or human power generators. Please write an argument that will convince the rescue workers which energy source is the best choice for solving this energy solution. Keep in mind, you are only choosing the best energy source for the rescue team and their needs from these two possible solutions, okay? So you'll need to think about their problem and then argue for which of those two claims is your choice is the best solution. So again, those two claims, one, that the sun or solar cells are the best energy source for the rescue team or claim two, that human power generators are the best energy source for the rescue team. I, to help you with this, I'm gonna give you six uh, evidence cards here in the activity to help order out whichever claim you think is best supported. So if you look down below, you'll see we've got these six evidence cards. And if you, you know, evidence card one, solar cells transfer energy from the sun to a battery. So as you build your argument, you're going to use these evidence cards to help either support or refute a claim. So you might say claim two is the best. And rather than spend all your time talking about why it's the best, you could attack why claim one fails. And you can use evidence cards for that. Likewise, you could pick claim one and spend part of your time attacking the validity of claim two. So all of these evidence cards are going to be useful and you should use as much of this as possible. So by having activity two, the sentences that you put together from the word bank and taking these evidence cards, you're going to be able to piece together not only which claim you think is best supported by the evidence, but also writing an argument to convince the rescue team that your claim or energy source is the best solution to their problem. And in your argument, you're going to state what the claim is that you selected, the evidence that you believe supports your claim, and you're going to use vocabulary words from the word bank. Okay, so this, there's not a whole lot of sections to this lesson, but this scientific argument portion is a big part of what we've been doing. So some sentence starters that we could use uh, for our scientific argument. I think this evidence supports this claim because, or I don't think this evidence supports this claim because, I agree because, I disagree because, or why do you think that? These are all great sentence starters for strong scientific arguments. You're gonna write your scientific argument down below, okay? Remember to include evidence in your argument and your argument should be between six and eight sentences, all right? Um, and, and really the most important thing is at least six sentences. Anything less than that and you are not fully following the assignment, you're not including what you think the claim is that you agree with or you're not including enough evidence to support it all right and let's see for homework after you write the argument um, we have this new article hand crank flashlight that uh, will help prepare and design an energy system for the rescue team so you're gonna just read this article and then annotate uh, with three annotations and, um, and turn that in. So the big part of this assignment after the warm-up is the scientific argument. That's the bulk of this assignment. Yes, uh, you'll get some points for reading this article and, and making annotations, but the majority of the points in this assignment lie in how strong your scientific argument is. Did you fully understand everything that we talked about? And did you give enough set complete sentences to answer it and support it fully? So I don't see how you could do it for less than six sentences. Um, I think eight sentences is even kind of pushing it, but I think it could be done. Okay, so when you uh, hit submit to this, understand this is the last assignment in Harnessing Human Energy, so congratulations. 
and I'll see you next time.